everyone in today's video I want to just remind you guys that uh, spring's coming and what does that mean for fig cuttings well the clock's ticking because if you think about the timeline here it takes about a month to get the cutting to put out roots and leaves on average right it could be sooner it could be a little longer than that then we have to harden the plants off before we put them outside and ideally we want to get the plants outside really as soon as we can um, so as soon as your, your last frost comes in you know get them outside as soon as you can because that sunlight is so much better than it is with the artificial lights in the closet so um, you know personally I I may want to wait until the temperatures warm up a little bit so maybe till about mid-may but roughly speaking, in my climate, where I live, we only have about two months of growing for these cuttings, um, which is pretty reasonable. But anything longer than that, where you're waiting much longer, and you know, let's say you only put out a month of growth, well, this is kind of what a month of growth looks like if everything goes well. You get these real little trees, and this is what I'm currently working with. This is not bad, right? If we were to put a tree like this outside that was healthy, actively growing like this, see these new leaves that are coming out here, we would get ourselves a nicely sized tree by the end of the year. But let's imagine that this tree in you know three months from now, because in three months I'm gonna put these guys outside, but there is potential for three months of growth for this thing to be all the way up here, which is three feet tall. These trees could potentially reach three feet tall and I have no doubt that they will. So why have a three foot tall tree or why have a really small tree when you could have a three foot tall tree? So the point I'm trying to make here is that we need to get these cuttings guys rooted as soon as we can. And that's really what this video is about is doing that little bit of an announcement for you guys. But I also wanted to show you that I am rooting at this current moment. So. It's not like it's the end of the world. It's, you know, it's too late at this point because I'm going to be certainly rooting right now. And I want to show you guys a couple of varieties that I'm going to be rooting. Um, right now we have some Smiths that we put in here. Real simple. And I want to show you guys the process. This is a direct potting method. Instead of using the tree pots, which I really like to use, we got a cheaper version of that, which are the fabric pots. A bit smaller in size, uh, actually maybe a bit larger in size, but they're supposed to be smaller in size, but they're much cheaper because they're fabric versus plastic. It's also a better material. Um, you know, this stuff will degrade in the earth while plastic will take years to finally uh, degrade. So we've got our tag set up here, right? The vinyl blinds. We've also got the, uh, the cutting wrapped in parafilm. We got the soil to the appropriate moisture. And let me just show you guys what the direct potting method looks like very quickly. I'm going to put you guys down. I'm going to show you guys this particular variety here that I'm going to root. This is called Violet Sapor. And the first thing I like to do is actually wrap it with parafilm. So let me just get my parafilm out here. And um, I use the half inch stuff. You can use the, the full inch size. I just prefer this. And we're going to wrap this to a point in which I think, or a certain height on the tree, I should say. Let me get rid of this extra there. A certain point in which I think we're going to need this. So this, from this point down, is going to be covered with the soil, have enough humidity to keep this, this part of it downwards from drying out. Everything above the soil will not have that humidity. And instead, we're gonna have to wrap this with parafilm. This is a wax, a must have for any serious orchardist. There's so many uses for parafilm, it's crazy. Um, highly recommend it. The variety here that we're rooting is called Violet Sapor from uh, Pruch Park in California. The next thing we wanna do, because the bottom here has uh, sort of started to callus over, which is what we want. But we're gonna take our knife here and we're gonna actually make a second new cut in a way. This is called uh, scoring the bark. We're exposing the cambium. This will callus up just like the bottom has. And the roots will form at these locations 
uh, hopefully more or better than they would along the nodes because at each every node point roots can form so on this particular cutting we're burying three nodes and we have this potential area to have uh, to have roots and the bottom to have roots as well so we have plenty of ample um, potential there to get roots the last thing we want to do is just stick it in the soil put that in the soil and I'm in this case I'm putting it as actually as deep as I can get it maybe tamp the soil down a little bit and then we need our tag our vinyl blinds here we'll just write violet support We'll put that right there. And that's it. The Let support. So that's the direct potting method, guys, and that is my little PSA, my little warning to you guys that if you are have you have cuttings and you're thinking about rooting them or you're thinking about buying them, you know, the clock's ticking. So get on it and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Take care.